Father, we give you this morning. We thank you that you're so worthy of our worship. You're so worthy of our praises. Oh, and Lord, it's so beautiful to even just start this, just from a place of being in your presence. We honor you today. We worship you today. Help us to give you our all, to give you everything we have. Sound of rushing waters. We see your face. We worship you, King. Your presence abides where praise is abound. We lift up one voice as deep cries out.
your name The mountains shake and crumble At your name The oceans roar and tumble At your name Angels will bow The earth will rejoice Your people cry
shout your name, Jesus. Cause your name is so beautiful. Oh. Your name.
So we shout your name, we shout your name, we shout your name, we shout your name.
flow of our spirits begin to worship whatever that sounds like to you if that's singing if that's whispering
so thankful, so grateful. As we lift you up, God, we open up our hearts. We come offering all that we are to you this morning. The Lord has been just speaking to me about this weekend that we are celebrating a time of resting from laboring. And he was showing me that the only labor that we need to labor in is love. He just wants us to come and labor in love, get closer into his heart. And he was showing me that Jesus himself was a depiction of a labor of love on the cross. It was a demonstration of his love for us. That we all receive love differently and we demonstrate it differently. But what he did on the cross, we're all able to receive it. This past week, for the first time, we had the opportunity to watch the movie Risen. And as he spread his arms open and he was showing the scars on his hands and the scar on his side. It just brought back so fresh and so new what Jesus actually did for us. And this morning, he's just calling us into that love. Love demonstrated on the cross. He's saying, come into my love. I want to pour that love into you. I want to give you more of my love. And for some of us here this morning, I just feel that maybe we don't have a full revelation of what that looks like. And all of us have come from different places, but personally I know that having come from a past of false religion, when I came to know the Lord, the cross defined it all. To me it said no one, no one has ever ever loved me that much they would just give up everything Jesus gave up everything the word of God says that it was for the joy set before him he endured the cross and this morning I just feel like I need to invite you as we come to take communion that we take it with a whole new perspective that it would mean so much more this morning as we receive that love anew and afresh through the sacrifice of his body on the cross. He who became undignified for us. He who gave it all up for us so that we would have that access to our Father in heaven so that we would have eternal life. Just invite us all to just continue to receive right now. Just continue to allow him to draw your heart closer to his. Regardless of where you've been, lay it all down this morning. Lay down your tools, lay down your laboring and just strive to come into his rest and into his love. some of you today have no clue as to what we're talking about or you've had in the past people have come to you and you know they've asked you the question about whether or not you know Jesus and it sounded foreign to you you had no paradigm for this and today you're here 
and you're hearing that message again about God who came in the flesh as a man to come and draw us into himself and you've never had this experience and you've had people talk to you about Jesus but you didn't know what it meant but this morning I feel like there's some people here in your hearts right now you're just feeling you're feeling something moving in your heart you're feeling loved being poured into you it's just like this beautiful presence like a warm blanket just covering you right now and you know you know that the Lord is calling you to himself I don't know who you are but I just know that Jesus is beckoning to you today and he's saying come into my love Come find hope, come find rest, come find my peace. And you just know that that's you because you've heard it so many times before, but you've never said yes to him. We really would like to invite you. Invite you to come. We'd like to pray for you. I'd like to pray for you so that you would know what this is about. You would come into the greatest, greatest relationship of your life. Nothing you've ever experienced before. You're going to come into a place where nothing, nothing matters more than that relationship that you have with Jesus. You're going to come into a place of rest, a place of hope, a place of peace like you've never known before. I just want to invite you. We've got some of our leaders at the front that just want to pray with you and I just know that you're feeling this is acceleration in your heart you just know that you need to come up this morning I just want to invite you to please come let us pray for you just come up here don't be shy you know it took us all a lot of courage to one day come and say yes God I want you God I want you more then I want anything else because I know that's where my rest and my place of peace and hope is. And some of you have been going through some really rough things and you're saying, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I can't do this on my own, but I want to tell you today, you don't have to do it on your own anymore. You've got a savior. We have a God who will never leave us. He's promised us. I just want to invite you. I know that there are more people here today that need to come and say, yes, God. Yes, God, I want you, God. I want to know what this is like. I want to be able to take in, partake in communion and know what that means. So we invite you. We're going to wait one more minute, and we're just going to invite you to come up and let us pray for you. Just come up. Don't be shy. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. We welcome you. Come on up. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. Yes. Come on. Come. Thank you, Lord. If you know you came with someone, if you came with someone and you just feel that you need to ask that person, do you need to do this because we don't know what tomorrow holds I just I just ask you ask that person beside you is that you do you need to go do you need to do this today just give your life to the Lord and it will never it will change your life forever and you will never never ever regret doing this so bless you we've got some people here that want to pray for you just keep coming just keep coming. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're going to go into a time 
of taking communion together. I just want to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 23. For I pass on to you what I received from the Lord himself. On the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and said, This is my body which is given for you. Do this to remember me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this to remember me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes. We'd like to invite you to remember what the Lord did on the cross for us. To gather with your friends and family. Just come on over when you're ready. And help yourself to the bread and the wine. Gather with your friends. Gather with people. Please, if you see anyone on their own, don't let them be alone. Just bring them into your, into your group. Invite them to come and join with you. Take a moment to remember him. Take a moment. The scripture says that we had to examine ourselves before we take the wine and the bread. Just take a moment to do that and share with one another. Bless one another. Pray to one another. Uphold one another. Lift up one another. Remind each other of what this means to us. That the cross... The cross defines who we are as followers of Jesus. Thank you. Come into 